Hello and welcome to the another lecture regarding the detailing model explorer. In this video, we are going to use this detailing explorer here. Okay, same as like a model explorer that we have used in ETABS. And this is going to be very important because this is the only place from where you can take out all your drawings. Okay, so at first, if you look at this left screen, we are having uh, the detailing at the top. If I expand it, it is having uh, three options component views, imported views, and drawing sheets. Okay, we'll look at them one by one. For this, uh, this second one that is important views, it will be only useful when we have imported any drawings from other part of the models. Okay, so this will be not quite usable at every point of time. So I'm not going to uh, spend my time on this option. We are going to look on this component views and drawing sheets. Let's expand this component view. As you can uh, see from the name, it will have a drawings of the components. That is component like slab, beams, columns, walls, frames, and all. At first, we are having a standard details option. If I expand it, it is having first general notes. If I double click on general notes, there will be a drawing. What are the general notes? The general notes uh, tell the person on this side who is uh, uh, seeing these drawings that what kind of concrete we in this lab is getting used what kind of concrete uh, in the beams are getting going to be used what will be the cover what will be the reinforcement what will be the reinforcement and the steel in column and what will be the abbreviations that is they are using abbreviations then it will be the abbreviation. you can write directly copy this thing and you can put it in your title blocks okay at the top in this previous video i have told you you can write the kind of concrete and all at a place on the right hand side corner you can just right click and export this thing export view and you can export it into a dxf file just copy it from there into the title box so your drawing will be ready from this perspective then we are having a list of drawing what kind of drawings we are having okay because our project is quite big so the drawings are quite big okay so but this list of drawing need not to be exported okay then we are having the type concrete beam elevation ss uh, csi detail actually make the drawings in three different ways that is in, in several different ways but in our drawing it is having three different elevations first is ss it have gave, gave it as a name as a single span then we having ds double span then we are having ms that is multiple spans okay drawings are uh, drawn on this pieces only that means the cultural myth you can look at this thing it is having a arrowhead and the title of this arrowhead is a this A means this steel bar is going starting from here and going into the adjacent column. The length here is 0 0.25 ln 1. Okay. The ln 1 is the, you can see the clear span of the beam. Okay. So it calculates this uh, software, calculate this thing by itself. Why? Because we have selected IS 456 in the preferences at the starting point. So this calculate all these things according to IS 456. So the beams are also having other options that for shear strips, it is having zone A, zone B and zone C. Then again, a repetitive zone B and zone A. As you know, the shear force acts uh, largely at the support. So these steel strips will be quite closer to one another at the corners. So you can see the zone A uh, will have a quite dense strips and then this on zone C, we will have the quite separate out of uh, strips. It is having other bunch of lengths that you can measure. It will be already there in their drawings. Okay, so need not to worry about it. I just want to tell you that the uh, sections that will come uh, in the uh, after some time, you can just recall these things and you can check out that what kind of steel is in zone A, where is the zone A, what is zone B, what is A, what is B, what is F, what is G. Okay, so just check E is the top bar, G is the uh, bottom middle bar. Okay. D is the end bar and all these things. So these are the elevations. Now we have the beam section A. If there will be a plan, if there is uh, uh, any section A, that then section A refers to this drawing. We have the concrete column typical elevation. This is the concrete typical elevation that uh, CSI detail in this drawing is going to get used. Then we are having column sections A, column sections B. These are the standard details. Okay, guys, no need to check all these things. But when you stuck somewhere, you can come here and see what kind of a section it is. Okay. So I'll just minimize this and go on to the slab details. Because my drawing is not having slabs designed, so the, all the slabs are here with the name no rebar. But they are not having any rebar. I'll go to beam. 
okay i'll spun the beam detail then i'll spun the concrete beam in the concrete beam we are having three options framing plan schedule and tables and elevation and sections if i expand the framing plan it will have the beams on all the stories let's say i want to see the uh, concrete beam layout on the story 9 i'll go it on the story 9 i'll click on it it will have the beams on it now you can see the beams name are quite uh, uh, different than this uh, simple term it is having its name is let's say if you we talk about this beam it is having name 9 cb 7s1 that means this ninth mean it is the ninth story cb means it's a concrete beam okay and then 7 is the uh, code number given to it and s was is, is the span number 1 it is having a span there is just a span number 1 so 9 means ninth story cb means concrete beam seventh is the number given to it and s1 is the span to it okay 7 cb1 we are having a here okay then we are having 9 cb4 s2 that means it's a Uh, the ninth story is CB4 and the span one because the spans are same. The name is given like span one, span two, and you can go on to any layout and you can see the drawing. For every story, if the layout is same, if uh, for every story if the layout is same, you can just provide only single drawing at this side. But there will be a problem. The problem will be that if you give the story one drawing to the layout, then its beam names corresponds to the one CB five S one. Okay, and to avoid this thing, you can change this name. Okay, you can change this name as CB one just, and uh, you can tell him that the CB one is having this size. And if I go to the top story and if, let's say on the sixteenth story, and if it is having another beam. and so you can give that their that name okay you can just change all this thing in the cad file on just a single drawing you can change all the things so these are quite uh, required at this side so you can just right click export it on the title block and you can just take it to the site so this were about the beams uh, sorry also on the beam we are having schedule and table if i click on the schedule table it is having concrete beam rebar table 1 of 7 there are total 7 it is 1 because the beams are quite big in quantity in my drawing so if i click on this concrete beam rebar table there we be a rebar table here now it's kind of a big table okay now what it shows it shows the number of steel bars at the uh, several locations okay and it also shows the shear strips this drawing and that beam layout that just i have uh, shown you these both the drawings are enough at the site to uh make your project work okay so one can see that layout and then it can see this rebar table and easily can draw the structure okay so on the first we are having uh 23 cb1 this 23 means it's on the 23rd story i'm having building of 23 story so uh, this is the building uh, this beam is on the 23rd story and it is having two spans as one and as two you can check out from the framing plans go on to 23rd story You can see we are having 23 CB 5S1. So this is how you can recall which drawing you are seeing. Okay, you can go into this. It is having a span of 5.4 meter, that is 5.75 mm. It is having a width of 300 by 500 at the A section. Now recall, I have just told you what is A, B, C, D, E, F, G. You can go into a standard detail to recall, and you can go into typical concrete beam shankles uh, section elevation single span. You can see A is this, B is this, F is G. Let's see. Okay, so th this is how you can recall. In the A portion, we are having two bars of 18 mm dia, and it compromises of 432 mm square of steel. Uh, and on the B, C, D, we are having no steel. At the E, we are having two bars of 20 mm dia, and at F, we are having two bars of 8 mm dia. And stirrups zone A and zone B being compromised, no stirrups. At the zone C, we are having uh, 27 stirrups of 10 mm dia at the right. 20 mm type a you can also export this table to the autocad and you can uh, adjust this thing in there you can see the 27 tan is going upwards you can adjust this thing in the autocad and it is having typical elevation so uh, if uh, the contractor doesn't understand what is this uh, the, he can jump onto the typical elevations that is elevation 2 now sir where is the elevation 2 you can go onto the uh, beams elevation and section okay uh, sorry you can go on to this beams elevation and section and you can always go on to elevation to or we have just uh, taken out the elevations from here that is so for the elevation you can click uh, this elevation and sections under the concrete beam now we want to go on to the story 23 beam so i'll expand the story 23 then it is having 23 cb1 
I'll click 23 CV1 and it is having a bunch of sections that is section A and section B you can check out from here okay it is also having elevations you can see the elevations you can go into reinforcement profile this is the reinforcement for how much the steel is distributed then we have the bell of quantity that is going to be very useful the rebar ratio rebar weight and the concrete volume okay a rebar quantity is here what uh, kind of bars and in which length and for what weight they are needed onto the site and it is for just 23 cb1 okay you can go into rebar cage if you double click on rebar there will be a rendered image of a uh, beam you can see you can rotate it from the left click okay and you can zoom in from mouse wheel in mouse wheel up zoom out and with the middle mouse you can pan it around okay so this is how you can do it so every beam is here uh, every elevation and the section of the beams are present here story one to story four if they are same you can just release only single drawing but if they are different you need to uh, give the other elevation drawings also let me minimize this beam section and in beam we are left with nothing more okay so then we can see the column details if i go to column details concrete column framing plan it is having concrete column now you can see in the framing plant we are having only one column layout plan this column layout plan is very uh, much needed on the site you can just right click and export it and take it up to the site okay it is just one because if we check the beam and we go to framing plan we have the framing plan for every story but on the uh, column section we are having just one plan why because the columns are not different they are same they start from the base and they go continuous to the top and they have the same property from the bottom to the right because uh, in this etab software we have used a property known as auto select and which we have given the same property to the one side of the area okay uh, but uh, on the other thing uh, if you want to change the column sizes you can do it by yourself but that will result in more number of drawings okay so you can just right click and export it and if you want to see the schedule you can double click schedule you can go on to column schedule one of four here you can see we are having base and it is going top to the story 13 and which is, which is having continue table on the two of three and then three of four and so on let's say uh, we consider this column cc1 okay if i go to column layout the cc1 column is here okay so if I zoom in and I go to CC1 column, it is having column size written here. This arrow will take you to the column size that is 500 by 500 mm. It is the column. Uh, what kind of section it need? The elevation, it is a section of A. You can go into general notes and check it out. The reinforcing, reinforcing is shown here. Let me go bottom at the story one. It is having 12 bars of 16 mm dia, a total of 200 mm square of steel. Then again, it is having 12, 16, 12, 16, 12, 16, and so on. Because they are same, it will be not uh, written separately. Then the ties, you can go onto here. It is having 14 dia ties at 400 mm center to center distance. Then comes the other column, that is CC2. So this is how, with the help of this frame layout and this colon schedule, one can easily draw the columns at the side. Then we have the bell of materials, what kind of rebar weight we need, how much uh, length we need. Okay, then we have the rebar quantities. Uh, the 12 mm bar will have the length of 5 to 7 when it will be cut it on the side and you can use this weight quantity to order and to place the order of steel okay same goes with the wall sections also you can do it with the walls and you can also see the frame details if you want to see uh, what frame details what is the center line plan of our building you can get it from here the drawing sheet compromises of all the drawings uh, that are done separately okay you can just double see it click it and it will be done on the title block okay you can check all this drawing separately from here if you let's say if i go to the concrete column elevation and sections one of 26 and if i expand it it will have a cc1 column i can expand it cc1 column is here okay i can click and move this drawing anywhere if i want okay i can move and click in this just right click and send it to the uh, you can say um, the uh, AutoCAD. It is having elevation CC1, elevation 2, elevation 3. You can check it out with uh, the, where this elevation belongs to, and you can touch this drawing just uh, right inside to that thing. Okay. Because the sections will be quite same, so it won't be trouble for you. Okay. 
so my uh, so model is quite big so the drawings the number of drawings are quite big okay for your case it can vary you can just right click and the title blocks can be changed by you also so this is was this was the most useful thing in the csi detail and uh, i hope you understand briefly what i was uh, what I, I was going to tell you so try it by yourself do it and uh, make your drawings and take it to the side and see if there are any problems if you if you got any problem come home correct all those things and again do it things okay all the softwares need practice okay so i hope you like the video please subscribe and share it to your friends also